I was given an LG RLH880. This is a DVD recorder with hard drive. That uh, the guy that owned it lost the remote control and said, well, it's useless with a remote, you might as well have it. So let's check it out and see if it works. Check out what I picked up for nothing, basically. It's a LG DVD RW or dash RW dash R plus RW plus R recorder with a hard drive. But um, like usual, the remote control is lost. So it was given to me because the guy that uh, that had it, he lost the remote. And uh, without the remote control, this, like most of them, are useless. I do have my universal remote. And I've got I've I've just got one that I programmed into it for LG DVD recorder. Whether it's going to work with this one or not, that I don't know. So bring up the remote. It looks like someone's recorded like hours and hours and hours of snow. Fifty-nine minutes of snow in Trapped uh, Title One. Ten hours of snow in Title Two, etc. etc. So let's see if I can delete these uh, titles. I don't even know how to work this thing. I guess that uh, is how I play it. It's going to go back to the menu and uh, see if I can figure out how to how to erase this file from the track number two at ten hours. That's likely the maximum that it can record any single program is ten hours. Okay, I think I can figure this out. If I click on the title, I can delete it. I can use my navigation keys. So on my remote here, I can use my navigation keys. And if I just click OK, then I can go down and I can search this one. So I might be able to actually use this recorder with my good old Harmony 880 remote. I want to try and make a recording with this thing and uh, and then we'll transfer it over to a DVD and see whether it will, will burn to it. It certainly doesn't look like it's got a very big hard drive. As it uh, no recorded titles, no kidding. It only seems like it's got like 35 hours of of recording. Now let me see if I can key in a channel number. I can go to the if I can go to the the, uh, the input for the tuner. I've got it hooked up to my my cable here. Menu. Well, that doesn't work. I want input. doesn't look like it's got a stereo tuner on it either. It looks like it's just a mono tuner. Because I uh, I have MTS modulators and like this should be a, a stereo signal. But it's showing up as mono. If I press the record mode button, these are the recordings. So an XP, the best quality, 17 hours, SP 35 hours, LP 70 hours, EP 106 hours, and MLP, Mega Long Play, is that what it stands for? 237 hours, 238 hours. So I'm going to go to just XP and I'm just going to hit record. And uh, we'll record this to the hard drive for a bit. And while I'm doing that, I'll take it apart and show you guys what's inside this thing. Got all the screws out. Top should just lift off, which it does. This has a Hitachi drive in it. Made in China for Hitachi. How big is this hard drive? It can't be that big. Uh, 80 gigabytes. So 
So a very small hard drive. I do have another one of these LG pieces of crap. I've got an 850, which is uh, basically the same unit, less the hard drive, just the recorder. Another one that was given to me. Nobody wants these things. And you know, the problem is, they, they, they don't keep the remotes. That's the biggest problem, is people lose their remote controls. And all these devices were built so that if you don't have the remote, you can't do anything with them. You can't use them. You can't record. You can't play. Uh, on the front it's got a eject button and a play button and a record button. But really, what good is that eject button, that play button, and that record button on the front? Like, what good is it if you can't control any other aspect of the machine? If you can't select the program you wish to watch, then what good is having those buttons? If I press the record button on here, it tells me I'm recording been recording for six minutes. How do I stop it? If I press play, it's still recording. What if I press eject? Still recording, right? I have no way to stop this thing from recording without the remote. It's almost like they designed these things knowing that people are going to lose the remote controls and then the unit's going to end up in the landfill because they're going to charge you a hundred dollars for a remote control. You know, how much would it have cost them to put some buttons on the front of the machine so that you could actually do something with it. You know, I mean, I'm fortunate I've got the Harmony so I can control it, but um, without that, it'd be kind of difficult. Okay, this has been recording for a while. I will stop it. If I bring up the menu now, it'll show that I've made a recording and I should be able to play that one back. And there's the recording. I want to copy that over to a, a, a DVD RW DVD-RW. So to do that, I'm going to load the disc up. So I'll open it up and insert the disc into the recorder. Close it. And then it's going to go into the menu here. And uh, it pauses the DVD while it's reading. Interesting. This thing's still showing it's recording. Stop. Oh, there. I had to push stop twice to get it to stop. Interesting. OK. Uh, if I go to my menu again, select my title, I press, I press the OK button, and now I want to dub this over, so I'm just going to go down to dubbing and select dub. Change the recordable disc. What the heck? What is wrong with my disc? How do I got to format this, uh, this disc? I guess I got to go to DVD first, initialize the disc, and then this will format this uh, this disc because the last time this disc was used it was used in a Toshiba so now I gotta format the disc and then I should be able to uh, copy over the the uh, recording that I made and we'll see if it works so I'll go back to the the hard drive select title number one and I'm gonna down here and select dubbing and now it should here we go it should dub this over and uh, we'll see how long it takes. Is it gonna? Is it gonna do this in real time? Really? It's gonna record this in real time. Interesting. My Panasonic does it in high speed, as does my Sony. I have a Sony DVD recorder with hard drive, and a Panasonic uh, drive, and now of course this one. It's always nice to have these things, right, uh, for archiving. But with the original remote, it would be nice. Although I, I say I, I can control it with that, so not at a loss. Okay, the recording's done. If I press the home button, I should be able to switch back to the DVD, which I can. And it tells me I've got an hour 24 remaining because I recorded what was on the, the hard drive. <coughs> Menu. Okay, that's got the thing down. Put on the disc. The left arrow button. That's disc. Okay, here we go. So I had to go down to disc. I had to hit the left arrow button, go down to disc, go down to to uh, finalize. And do I want to finalize the disc? Of course, I have to finalize it so that I can play it on another uh, on another player. So I'm going to let the, let this uh, drive finalize and, and see uh, whether I can actually play this on another. Uh, 
machine, which it should be. And then I'll try to unfinalize it and erase it. And I'll complete this as a, a success, another DVD recorder into my collection that uh, I can certainly make use of. Looking down at the power supply, I don't see any caps that are showing any sign of any distress. And here's the main video board. It looks to be of relatively high quality. But you know, just from the look of this and the fact that it doesn't even have a stereo tuner in it for recording off air, it does not have a digital tuner, it's just analog only, and digital TV would have uh, been around when this uh, was produced, because I think it was like 2007. So digital TV would have been around at that point. They were still simulcasting back then. That they knew that the writing was on the wall, and since everything was transitioning to HD, that people would only be using these things for a short period of time. And probably not for recording so much, but more for recording from a cable box or some other uh, analog input. Finalization is complete. It didn't take no five minutes either, so the title shows up as a DVD video. If I press the OK button, it'll play. And there it is. So I'm just going to go take the disc in and verify that it plays on my other machine, and uh, we'll, we'll finish this video off. But uh, actually, no. You know what? I'm going to make sure I can erase this unfinalize it too but let me check the disc and make sure it plays on another machine that's important because sometimes some machines you, you finalize the disc but it won't play on another machine because it's not done correctly um, that was more of a problem with those light on machines though everybody remembers them they were a piece of junk okay I have confirmed that it does play properly on my other machine so if I go back to home let's just see whether I can unfinalize this setup I probably have to go down to oh here I can go down to disk format finalize here we go unfinalize what I like to undo finalization that's how you do it and then I should be able to go in and erase that title now if I go back into finalization is complete if I go back into the home button and I can go back into DVD it tells me that there's whoops some time free if I hit the menu button instead now if I select that title and go down to delete I can delete the selected title. There we go. So that's it. So that uh, pretty much does it for this one. Always like it when I can get my hands on another DVD recorder, especially when you're when you're in the archive business. Although these days, a lot of people want their material archived onto hard drive or onto USB stick. There's still a fair number that deal with the good old DVD. They want that. They want that physical copy. They usually want both. They want a physical copy and they want it on a on a USB stick or a hard drive just so that it's more convenient. But they want a backup copy just in case it ever gets corrupted. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Bye.